Right, so we are at the same date, minus one, because if I press continue, I think I've got a match. Um, yep, Chelsea away at Man United. Obviously, football in real life has been cancelled for a few months, but coronavirus didn't appear in this version of Champ Manager. How unrealistic. But let's have a look at what Champ Man has brought up in terms of the last 23 years. So it's season 23. I started off as United. Um, did 12 years with United. Won the league nine times, I think, in those 12 years, and they haven't won it since. They've actually been down to Division 1 in that time. Andy Goodall as a manager, I'm not even sure who that is. Competition history, let's have a look. So league history, we can't even... Ah, yeah, page two of six. But it doesn't let me click onto the next page, which is annoying. So as you can see down there at the bottom, they were my last one, two, three, four seasons with United. We're dominated. Um, the only thing I didn't win with United was the Champions League and UEFA Cup. That, that was really annoying. Won everything in the league. And won everything in England. UEFA Cup they've not even done. FA Cup I must have won five or six times. League Cup four or five times. But yeah, that's since I left. And I left when we finished sixth. Um, I got annoyed at the game, it stopped allowing me to buy people. Everyone was unavailable, not for sale at any price, so I quit. With the intention of packing it in and doing something a bit more productive. Anyway, I came back into the game and took over Chelsea, because they'd gone down to Division 1. But yeah, this is United's history since... Oh, for the last 10 years now. If we look at 12-13, where United's last title... I think I might have got United up to the same number of titles, um, 20, it might be on 19 or 18, and I can't check, which is annoying, so, um, no, it's not annoying. If I go to Manager Info, and click on me, here we go, so competitions won, now even then the the history gets wiped after a bit. So anyway, but I did win 98, so it's 97, 98, 99, 7, 8, 9, no, no, not 9, that was with Chelsea, um, so 8, I won 8 Premier Leagues with United between 97 and 2008, so um, if we were on 90... We've won 13 Premier Leagues, right, under Fergie, so that means we were on 7 in 90, so 93 is 8, 94 is 9, 95 was Blackburn, 96, 10, 97, 11, okay, so I'm on 90, United are on 19 titles, correct me if I'm wrong there, um, without winning the Champions League, so... So yeah, the history of United was worse off because of me. Um, could I have carried on winning with them? Maybe, maybe. I could have, I just got bored with the game. It was annoying me, but I'm pretty sure what I've done with Chelsea, um, one, two, and the third one coming up, I'll win the league this year. So yeah, they've probably turned it around again, but um, no, United stuck on 19 titles. Also in that time, in the time of this game, um, Liverpool have won a title. So yeah, they were mine, and Liverpool won one. So it's 1919. 
Maybe after my Chelsea stint, I need to go back to United, who are currently in the Premier League, but fighting relegation. Hope, yeah, if they stay up and I and I win the league with Chelsea and FA Cup and Cup Winners Cup, then I've won everything at European level. Could be time to take United back on and get them back and knock Liverpool off the perch once and for all. Overall, I think United will be um, the most successful team because let's have a look at Liverpool's competition history. They've been down as well, they've been down to Division 1 less than United, but um, yeah, so they've in this game, they've won the Champions League once. Yeah, they're on a big drought, aren't they? World Club Cup, European Super Cup. Yeah, they had a good couple of seasons, but that's about it. Um, now, nah, so United must be far and away the most successful team in the history of English football, at least. Let's have a look at international competition, World Cup, competition history. Competition history. So France won the most recent one, which is realistic, as they did. Uh, it was in Brazil. So since the game started, 98 Germany. Who won that? Was it France? France 98. Obviously Norway and Sweden have not got anywhere close. Spain have been decent, but never won anything. Uh, I'll check the Euro in a minute, but. But yeah, Norway, Sweden. The, the Scandinavian countries in this game seem to be very, very good. Very good. You get a lot of good players from there. Eric Nevland, for example, and um, Arne Gudjonsson. So, 98 who won that. That was France, I think. 2002, Brazil, right? So, Brazil haven't won anything. Um, Germany, Germany, France. Germany must be the best team here. I can't remember off the top of my head who won apart from France. 2014 was... Which ones was Spain? Was that... Just 2010? Yeah, anyway, so there we go. Germany dominating, but no sign of Spain. Um, no sign of Brazil, so... Argentina in a final. Back there, Italy, a couple of finals. 2006, I was Italy manager in that one, but... Um, Got knocked out in the semis, some penalties, I think, to Sweden. Um, so they won it in 2006, but no, not in this game. Let's have a look at the Euro. And now Spain have won something, Greece have won something. But also, when did they win it in real life? It was 2004, wasn't it? So that's, that's strange, because you wouldn't expect Greece in this game to have any chance of winning it. Because they're crap, they don't have any good players. Let's look at these big ass. They all big ass. Normally, you find teams that don't have the leagues running, they, they tend to struggle. So, we should have Spain, Italy, and England dominating. But um, yeah, Spain have won a couple there, that's fairly realistic. Um, Sweden again, they dominated in this game a bit. Those few years when their players what got to the prime, I guess. Um, what else should we have a look at? There's no, there can't be any players now. That let's have a look at the Spanish league for the competition history. Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Sevilla, mostly Barcelona, Real Madrid. Um, Couple of a couple of like outliers in there. So Deportivo, that was fairly realistic. It happened once, didn't it? Real Sociedad could happen. David Moyes style, get him in there and get them crossing the ball in. Now nah, that's yeah. Well, you know, Spain does have that where it's dominated by the two teams, but then occasionally you'll get the odd team coming in through and winning it. Atletico Madrid um, and Sevilla. Probably not going to go and get a chance to work in Spain in this game. We've only got, what, eight seasons left? Um, but that's probably about it that we can see from this. Um, let's have a look at the Champions League. 
competition history. So yeah, like I said, I never won this with um, United, which was annoying when Sheffield Wednesday won it with Paul Ince as manager. Oh my God, I hate playing against them. Paul Ince, what a, what a cock. Um, he then went on to manage United. I, I can't believe that would that, that would never happen. Um, you know, United been a bit desperate in this game, I suppose. So, um, Ajax are always good in this game. I don't don't remember who won it in the first few years, but there's teams like Real Madrid, Monaco. I got to the final in my first season. Monaco beat me, four 0 Bayern were always strong. Liverpool that time in two thousand seven. So United didn't have our two thousand eight in Moscow. Another another English team winning it before me. That was annoying. Chelsea, that was me. No, I couldn't leave the game. I came back in because I couldn't leave the game without winning the Champions League, could I? Annoying thing is I didn't win the World Club Cup. So, let's see if I can do that with United. Probably go back there to retire. So yeah, Chelsea, Palmer, Italian team doing better than they are in real life. Yeah, it's just... It tends to be big teams. Teams that I guess have a big reputation on this game. Um, in the back end, so they're the ones that probably come through, get all the best players. But yeah, it's impossible now to buy players. No one's available. Um, just trying to look back at United, see if we can look at the manager history. Cause Beckham was manager at one point, but no, I don't think transfer records. We can't. I brought the transfer world record. I think I did it with you. No, that was my highest transfer with United. But even now, United, um, I paid 15, 16 million for a player um, off Atletico Madrid. I actually cheated because, as I said before, there's every player above like 2 million was um, unavailable. And it's probably still the case now. And it just, it was, it was unrealistic because I had 100 million in the bank. And I couldn't spend it because all the players, like, totally, you can't buy them. Even when the contract runs out, because this is before Bosman and that, I think. So yeah, look at that, 12, 12.75 million, that's the highest price. Um, I paid 16 million for a player. As I, as I was saying, I was cheating with, I went, I took over Atletico Madrid and I sold them, I sold myself a few players. I didn't force them to come, like, I, no I did actually, I put them in the B team, because they wouldn't come. No, but I did it again with another player um, and just made him available and bought him. But yeah, with the, with the Athletic Comedy players, I bought three. Um, so yeah, look, look there. Unavailable. Anything above four million, so... Nah, it was unrealistic. So yeah, that's what we're looking like at the present day. That's football history as... Um, simulated by Championship Manager 97-98 and here's my team flying to the title two games in hand and three two games in hand and three points clear um, if anyone's got any tips on how I can fix my defence this is what I'm playing it's a tactic I use actually to get them promoted um, and in the promotion season we just dominated I, I chose 11 players just click through click through click through and didn't really change change the team much. I'm um, kind of doing that again now and it's it's working but look at the balls I've conceded. Not too bad this season. Not too bad but still conceding too many. If you look at, look at that 38 conceded which is up there with you know, Tottenham down at the bottom. Hopefully they get relegated. Come on United you can save this. Um, yeah, so in my history, well, let's just look at Chelsea. I'm always conceding so many goals. When I was with the United, we, you know, our defence was top. Um, similar formation. But yeah, if anyone can help me fix this formation and make it a bit more solid in defence, I still want to score the goals. Um, no. Nah. Perhaps even just that, and it looks, oh, it just doesn't look right, does it? 
It looks a bit more... Anyway, it's going well actually this season, so maybe I don't need it. I should... Maybe I need a better goalkeeper. But, you know, it's good. He just... We just concede too many. Sometimes when we play, we concede two shots on target and concede two goals, and that's... Yeah, so annoying. Anyway, if there's anything else you want to know, I'll look it up. And... Yeah, that was my best season. If there's anything else you want me to look up, any players or whatever. But I think everyone's retired. There can't be any players now, what, 23 years on from 97, 98? Any 40 year olds? <sighs> Doubt it. Doubt it. Anyway, so I'm going to finish this season with Chelsea. About to play United. Oh, this is their game. Do I let them win? Do I let United win? Keep them up? And then I can take over? Let's see. Anyway. Let me know if you've got any comments about Chapman United 798 and if you can help me with that 4 4 oh no, what, what's my tactic? 2 3 1 2 2 or more of a 4 2 4 isn't it really? Nah, whatever. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. That was a bit of a trip down memory lane on Chapman United 798. Any comments, put them below, subscribe if you like.